Hey, welcome back to the Halloween Hotel. Today, I'm going to be showing you a down and dirty, easy Halloween prop that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Does not cost a lot of money. Maybe you've seen it on Pinterest. Maybe you haven't. But I'm going to show you how to do one real simple for around $4. If you look at my last tutorial where I had my game plan, my layout of what I want to do on Halloween and leading up to Halloween, I kind of ended it and I talked about how I want to do the decor inside my haunted house and that I was a little worried about it. And last year I think I did okay with it, but this year I want to do a lot better. So doing a lot better means I got to have better quality and I need to have just overall more. I can't have just like one picture inside of a haunted room that has a lot going on but nothing on the walls. So the easiest way to do that is you just have to come up with easy, simple ways to make decor. People's not going to be walking in the room and just focusing what's on the walls, but it does help accentuate the rest of the stuff that's going on inside the haunt. So I'm going to show you a down and dirty of exactly what we're going to be doing. And I'm going to show it to you right now. I'm going to give you the supplies that you need. Here's the supplies that you're going to need for it. First thing you're going to need is you're going to go to the Dollar Tree and you buy one of these mirrors right here. All right, we're going to get a mirror. We're going to get a skull from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to get some of this black netting that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I actually think I picked this up from Michael's, but you can get this from the Dollar Tree as well. And they have different shades. I just picked up a white with bloody stains on it yesterday. And it, it's cheap and it goes a long ways. I could use it for several different things. You're also going to need a glue gun with several glue sticks. I like to use this right here. Some adhesive, some spray adhesive. It goes a long way. It's a little easier. Maybe some scissors as well. You're definitely going to need some scissors or... Maybe like a utility knife, something like that. So what we're going to be doing is we're basically just going to be placing the skull on the mirror. Uh, and then after we do that, we're going to be placing the cloth over the skull. We're going to mat it down so it looks like it's actually coming out of the mirror. Um, real easy. Should be a quick tutorial. I'll fast forward through a lot of it so I'm not boring you to death. But here we go. The first thing we need to do is we need to take the skull. You need to take the skull. You need to put it on the mirror. Figure out exactly what angle you want to put it at because we're going to cut this skull. We're going to cut the skull. We're either going to cut it, you know, maybe around here like this, or maybe you want more of it to pop out so you don't want to cut the back end. So we're going to cut the skull. I like to cut mine right behind. I've already started it, but I like to cut mine right behind where the ear would be, or maybe in front of the ear, around there, right behind the jawbone. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it real quick. Okay, so I cut it. You see I cut his mouth open there. And we're going to position it however we want on the mirror. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the upper half of the skull, this part right here. I'm going to take it and I'm going to place it onto the mirror. Now when I place it onto the mirror, I'm just going to simply use... Uh, You don't have to put too much glue. I like to put a lot on mine. You really just want to tack it on. If you're using the spray adhesive to put the cloth on, it's going to hold it on. But I just want to make sure, you know, people might be bumping in the walls. Somebody might be doing something that's going to cause it to um, to move around. And the last thing you want to do is have a prop fall apart in the middle of a haunt. That would be terrible. So I kind of put a lot on mine, almost three full sticks. So we're going to move on from here. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to attach my jaw. So my jaw 
I can attach it however I want. Not real hard, you know, you can go here and you can have a little open, maybe full open, whatever you want to do. But the thing that you need to be aware of is sometimes these tabs on the back, sometimes it might be a little too long. So if they're a little too long, you can just snip them off. So I'm just going to take some scissors. I'm going to snip these ends off right here. I'm going to snip them off. And then that gives me a little bit more leeway on how I want to angle it. The good part is this back part right here is flat. So that when I put it on here, I can put the flat part on there. And I can leave his mouth gaping wide open. Okay. If I don't want to, I could put a little slower. Or not a little slower. I could close it a little more. And just have less of that area contacted, but it's not going to go anywhere. But I like to have mine full blown open. I like mine like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack this guy down onto here. Okay, now while that's drying, what I want to do is I want to give it a, a lot of time to dry because sometimes hot glue in the mirror takes a little bit of time for some reason. But what I want to do is I want to take my cloth and I want to start measuring it out and cutting it. But I'm not going to cut it exactly. I'm going to leave, make sure that I do have a little bit of overhang because there's several ways that you can do this when you get to this part. You can tuck the overhang behind it and just tack it down with some glue. You can cut it um, and then tack it down with glue. There's many things you can do at this point. Another thing you want to be aware of is this stuff is super thin. This stuff is super thin. See how thin that is? And that is two layers right there. Look, it opens up again. And you can see how much it is uh, transparent when it's just one, let alone two. Now, granted, there's a light right here, so you can see through it very closely. But you can see when it gets closer to me, it's a little harder to see. This is going to be right up on the skull. So my personal preference, I think if you overlap it one time and it's just two pieces, I think that's plenty. If you want to do more, by all means you can do more. It's not a big deal. I am just going to do the overlap one time. And so the transparency is this right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down over top. I'm going to cut it out. And then we're going to go and start adhering this to the skeleton itself. Okay, now that I have it cut out on top, this is what it looks like before we actually adhere it down. You can see it's a little 3D. Okay, sometimes you can, sometimes what you could do, if you really wanted to, you could cut only to this lip right here. See where the mirror's at? You can only cut to the lip and then you see all this detail right here as well. Uh, you could do that too. I'm personally not going to do that. I'm going to have mine go over everything and then I'm going to cinch it down. At this point, all my glue is dry on my skull itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off. I know that when I lay it this way, it's the way that I need it to be. So I'm just going to lay it right next to it so I know that when it's time to put on, that's how I'm going to put it on. Then I'm going to take a can of this spray adhesive, and I'm going to spray this very, very heavy. I'm going to spray it to where I can kind of see white on it, and I'll show you when I'm done. And once I spray it on there, I have a little bit of time to work with, probably anywhere between three and five minutes before it's just not going to work anymore and I would have to respray it. So we're going to spray it down liberally, liberally, and then liberally. I just messed that up real bad. We're going to spray it a lot. All right, we're going to spray it a lot. Here we go. Okay, so we got it sprayed, it looks something like that. You can see it's a little white. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it on and we're gonna start cinching it down. When I lay it over top, I wanna lay it over top pretty loosely because what I'm gonna do 
is now I'm going to start taking my hands and I'm going to start working from the center. I'm going to start working from the center out. I'm going to start with the skull. I'm going to get every nook and cranny done that needs to get done. I'm going to get my fingers in there. I want to make sure that where the mirror meets the actual frame, I want to get my hands down in there so we can tell that there is something behind it, that there is a frame. It makes it look a lot better. One of the hardest things to do is to get the eye sockets and to get them to stay down there. And normally what you can do is, once you get to this point, which he looks pretty good right now, see the 3D right there, he looks pretty good. Uh, usually sometimes what you can do, you just spray the eye sockets again a little bit. Maybe spray some areas that aren't going down as well. And then you can just take anything at that point, a popsicle stick, something like that, and help press it down. So I just have a little popsicle stick. And that's what I'm going to use to try to get down in there. here there we go you see the mouth is open nice and easy then what I do is I'll just go around here I'll cut these edges off I cut the edges off you can use the spray adhesive or you can use a glue gun I'm gonna use a glue gun and all these loose edges right here I'm just gonna simply tack them down All right, once I tacked down the edges, I went around it one more time with some scissors and knocked off all the extra. And there we have it. It's a down and dirty version of some easy decor. Now what you could do is you could go also to the Dollar Tree, you could get some Spanish moss, something like that. You could spray adhesive some Spanish moss on it. You could dry brush it. There's a lot of things that you could do to this really cheap to make it look really good. Um, I have made two. This is my second one. 
so I got two of these guys. I maybe have five dollars invested total for two of these. So really easy, going to look good. Maybe you can spray paint them with a the glow and dark paint and put a black light on them or something. They'll show up even better. But I do plan on doing a little bit more to these guys. But this is the beginning of what they look like. And if you put them in a well lit a well lit room, it won't be too bad. Um, so you just you gotta figure out what's your taste and, and what the decor is gonna be in that specific room. But this is what we have for these guys, the down and dirty. I'm gonna do a lot of down and dirty tutorials like this and fast forward through a lot of it so that way you can just watch and see how easy they truly are. And uh, last thing before I go, uh, I just wanna show you guys something. I did get a package in the mail today. I got a package from a friend of mine out in California is uh we'll just call him mr howard and uh he has helped me out tremendously in the past on other things that are not uh halloween related but he texted me all day and asked me if i wanted a pair of these coveralls that he had laying around forever and he shipped them to me for free and i didn't have to pay anything for this so mr howard i would just like to say thank you for helping me out and feeding feeding my monster inside which is doing nothing but halloween stuff all the time Let's pull these guys out and see. There it is, some old work coveralls. So this means that I'm probably gonna to have to go out and buy a Michael Myers mask now. I have a Jason mask that I had done off of a tutorial on YouTube. And now I'm probably going to have to just go out and buy a Michael Myers mask to make sure I have something to fit this outfit because those coveralls are pretty legit. I'm pretty happy with them. Thank you, Mr. Howard. You're the man. Um, I can't thank you enough. And um, until next time, keep on haunting.